Well, today the Idaho Supreme Court upheld a couple of Idaho voting laws passed during the 2023 legislative session. The decision comes after a couple of local advocacy groups sued the Secretary of State's office last year, claiming the laws violated Idahoans, especially young Idahoans, constitutional right to vote. Abby Davis spoke with people on both sides of this lawsuit and obviously polar opposite reactions to today's ruling, Abby. Right, as you can expect. One of the organizations, Babe Vote, says they're crushed. But the Secretary of State's office says the court's decision helps protect the, helps protect the integrity of the voting process. I'm voter here registering to vote. The most like direct and clear, you know, like legally outlined way to truly make your voice heard in a democracy is through voting. And for the last three years, Boise High junior Yvonne Shen has helped Idahoans do just that. She registers people through her volunteer work with Babe Vote, a youth voting advocacy group. I am technically not a voting age yet, but obviously I think like it's a super important thing to protect and we're kind of seeing that getting attacked right now, which is unfortunate. She's partly talking about a new Idaho Supreme Court decision. The court upheld a lower court's decision dismissing a Babe Vote and League of Women Voters lawsuit against the Secretary of State's office. We were very disappointed. The organization sued over the constitutionality of two laws passed last year. Those laws banned student IDs as a form of voter identification, specified what other type of identification was allowed, and gave people without a driver's license the option to get a free ID card. They help make Idaho's voter registration and ID laws consistent and uniform across the board. Before, Secretary of State spokesperson Chelsea Caratini says there was a lot of confusion. People could show a Costco card to vote or a scuba ID to vote, and this delineates what ID is acceptable. In the opinion released Thursday, the court states the laws are reasonable exercises of the legislature's authority under the state constitution. Babe Vote thinks it's another way to stop young people from getting involved. The legislature basically did a surgical attack on a group of voters, students. It's just frustrating, especially for me as like a young person, kind of seeing like, oh, it's almost like they're kind of targeting our generation in a sense. Caratini says they're letting people who previously voted with a student ID know they can get that free ID that I mentioned earlier. But Babe Vote says that that process takes a lot of time, and that's something a lot of young adults just don't have, Brian. Abby, uh, Justice Robin Brody wrote the uh, opinion today and said to the point that every voting rule imposes some sort of burden, in this, and the legislature didn't double down on that, basically. So I guess the question is, what's next for Babe Vote? Right, well, this is, this is essentially the end of the road for this lawsuit, but the board member did say that they are going to try and just fight against some of these, they call them obstacles, to getting younger people voting and out to the polls. All right, we'll see what happens. All right, thank you very much, Abby.